Okay, I think we can... I don't see the screen. <laughs> oh dear. Here we... No, it's... I can see... No! Oh man, I clicked out of a... Technical difficulties, hold on. Hold on. Ah. Hello, Hunter Hunts. I hope you're doing good today. Give me a moment. That's not... It's not... <laughs> okay, there it is. Okay. Okay, we can start. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll get some water. Okay, you guys give me a, a, maybe a, a minute or something, okay? Hold on, y'all. You wasn't expecting a s- I- I get it, okay, I get it. I don't stream on the day itself, usually. Hello, Jen. You kind of got- Okay, okay, let me change the scene. Yes, hello. Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I am a Yumu, and I am a convenience store employee VTuber. As you can tell, I have not practiced my voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the final stream of the year, guys! Before I fly off. Oh my god. But yes, thank you, thank you for dropping by. How's everybody doing? Hi, Hunter Hunts. Hi, Red Blue Cards. Hi, Jam. Hello. I hope you're doing great. So, if not mistaken, the second part of the. <gasps> New art? <laughs> so cute! <laughs> oh, I'm getting distracted. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Guess who got all the SSRs for this event? Holy shit. Did you? Is it the Hunter Hunts? Who got all of it? Fuck, that's Pog. I'm, I'm happy for you. Holy shit. <laughs> How much did you spend? Hello, why, why? Oh no, it's okay. Please go sleep. Thank you for dropping by. I, I love you. I'll see you next year. You can sleep until next year. Yes, sir. You did, Pog. That is nice. I'm glad for you. Yeah, you. I don't know what BDE, but I think he got the Riz. Hunter got the Riz. <laughs> oh my god, I heard that uh, Quincy's one is really, really like husband material. He's really soft. He's really soft, so I, I hope you, yeah, you can get to unlock and and all oh, my words. Oh, today's stream will be a fun ride. <laughs> I hope you enjoy. Yes, yes, yes. 
All right, so where did we leave? Ah, uh, yes, chapter eight. How many chapters do we have? Oh shit, that's um. Yeah, we have up till chapter 14, so that will be six, seven chapters to go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Are you guys ready for our little Christmas miracle? <laughs> Here we go, chapter 8. I only got Edmund for this event, and I was like, I call it quits. Oh shit. Oh right. Oh shit, okay, um, so this is what happened last week. Uh, Karu disappeared! <laughs> oh sh- Oh, I did not know that as possible. <laughs> Karu, he's- he's gone. I can't feel- <laughs> I- I can't feel him inside. Oh damn, this is a sad place to start, oh dear. Oh no. How is that possible? How can Karu not be there? Aw, <laughs> uh, good night, YY. See you next year. Bye bye. When we were on stage, Karu sang together with me. I. I don't know why, but I couldn't help giving my essence to the elemental spirits. And then I felt as if. as if Karu left together with the essence. Wait, what is Karu at this point? No, it's... No, because I I genuinely believe that they were two souls? Like... I don't know? Or does... Is it just a, a, a fantasy version of D.I.D.? I don't know what this is. <laughs> I, I honestly treated Garu as like... um as literally two souls and one body like quite literal there there are two wolves inside of me <laughs> that kind of <laughs> you know, because they were a wolf yokai right and a anything can happen you know so yeah i mean it would explain the yellow eyes so now now it just sounds like i i, I don't know he sounds like he's not can you transfer souls this way i don't know <laughs> i don't know Mystery mysteries. Then that strange echo came, and before I knew it, I passed out. Left together with the essence? Has anything like this ever happened before? Never. Is this another of the unknown power's harmful effects? Karu appeared after his grandfather died, so he wasn't always there. <gasps> Oh, 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 so he has the ID. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, 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 I, I really thought that. Oh, okay, that changes a lot of things. Huh. <laughs> wow, Pog. Thank you, fellow Garu fan. Not fellow, actually. I'm not really a Garu fan. I did not know anything. <laughs> No, this is beyond anything I know. As I understand it, they inflict damage by bouncing the song and the essence back and forth like an echo in a valley. The stronger their essence, the more severe the backlash. No, actually, you know what? Instead of DID, it really just sounds like... Because everything is essence, right? It just sounds like it's a forest fairy that possessed Garu. <laughs> and that's 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 why he's like he he human slave number one. He he he. I don't know. Like like oh this poor puppy is dying. I must save it. That's what's happening. I don't know. This, this is does mental illness exist here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure some of them is quite mentally ill. Garu talked to himself during his time alone to keep up with human language, and that's when Karu developed. Okay, now that sounds like this elemental spirits, you know, like... Yeah, actually, yeah, oh shit, so he's an elemental spirit? <laughs> of the dead zone? Oh. 
Oh, okay, now, now. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, the lore is getting a bit juicy. <laughs> well, we won't know until Pinkor actually tells us what Karu really is. Right, so. In black and white, right? <laughs> if the clan members hadn't been here to block the essence, the entire tribe would have been wiped out. What? Damn, we stopped a nuclear blast. Oh dear. I get the feeling he's seen something like this before. Otherwise, how could he know so much? But not now's not the time to ask about that. Quincy, please tell me, how can I get Karu back? I don't know. What if we were to go to the valley where elemental spirits dwell? There must be a reason why they congregate in that particular place. Maybe we can find the answers there. Hey yo, if we find Karu, I am... I am... He's an elemental spirit. God. <laughs> oh shit. But that's what happened, you know? Like, no, it's too dangerous. I'm going. I don't care how dangerous it is. I have to get Karu back. Aw, sweetie. Quincy, where is the valley? Full responsibility for this incident lies with me. Unless you have a better suggestion, I will go to the valley to find a solution. Oh, sweet baby. And man, you don't have to carry everything on your shoulders. I know you feel like some sort of like guilt or like like responsibility because you are born a noble. But it's okay. We literally saw you faint after sex. Okay. You're so tired. Please rest my child. You're trying your best. <laughs> oh. oh, my dog's confused. Oh, dear. Yes, baby, I'm crying over our over Papa, okay? No, our wife. Technically, he's our wife. Oh, yes, baby. Yes, sleep, sleep, sleep. <laughs> Alright. Oops, sorry about that. Gotta put my dog uh, in her bed. In my bed, actually. Ah, she is like, what the hell is going on? Why are you screaming? You want to go, too? Yeah, since I'm the only one who can hear the entire song, maybe I can get more information from the elemental spirits. And I was the one who invited everyone here. I have to take some responsibility, too. Plus, Karu. Quincy. Please take us to the valley. Oh. <sighs> Fine. But once we're in the mountains, you must do exactly as I say. I have no qualms about relying on your judgment in the wilderness. Let's go then. Which way do we head? Easy. They have yet to disperse. Forest Guardian turns his gaze to the road leading from the village. Oh, we can just follow them. Oh, there they are. As the sky darkens, the elemental spirits drawn by the song becomes more visible. They join together to form a glowing stream that stretches along the mountain path. Ah, I've seen this before. It's like they're guiding us somewhere. Follow the lights all the way to the valley. Mm. Okay, let's go into another Spirited Away movie. Let's get you going. You know, this is this is why you don't mess with fairies, honestly. <laughs> mm. I don't think they're like the typical. Oh God, it's a blizzard. I don't think they're like a typical. British fairy, Celtic fairy. Yeah, I don't think they're like that. But like, mm. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the blizzard so strong it's actually lagging on my laptop. Holy shit! Um, it's fine on my phone though. So, you guys, please enjoy the pelting snow <laughs> in two FPS rate. <laughs> it's fucking windy. It's fucking whip. <laughs> Look at it. It's whipping. <laughs> 
It got dark so fast, and the wind and snow are getting worse. Quincy, how much longer before we get there? Soon. That's not an answer. <laughs> I gotta step up my pace. I chose to come along. I can't drag everyone else down. Yo, the... Yeah, the, the blizzard is making the text go really slow. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I need a new phone! Holy shit! <laughs> Master, are you tired? I'm sorry. We should have stopped to rest at the checkpoint that Quincy pointed out. It's alright, Garu. Just like you, I want to find Karu as soon as possible. And help restore everyone's essence to normal. Besides, Quincy said that if we didn't stop to rest, we could reach the valley. Watch out! Oh, what's that? Damn, bombs in the snow? Here we fucking go, oh no. Edmund leaps in front of Aiden, his sword drawn, and slices a falling chunk of ice into- or Ah! What? <laughs> oh, hail, right, that, that's an actual- what? Uh, oh yeah, that's an actual weather phenomenon, okay, um- <laughs> Vice Captain, my lord and savior, that thing would have squished me like a bug! Oh, is it that massive? That's not hail. T -t -t thank you, Edmund. Oh, he's feeling so guilty. Edmund! Edmund lets go of Aiden's arm and retreats to his previous position. No sign of emotion in his expression. Poor guy. Weird. This is usually where he yells at me like crazy for not being more careful. Edmund? Come closer. Quincy said not to stray too far when we're in the snowy mountains. No. This, di this distance is fine. You have already been hurt by my essence once. I'm afraid. Further contact may exaggerate your condition- <laughs> <laughs> Elsa? Elsa? <laughs> Aiden and Zana. Aiden and Zana. No, my ice powers. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. <laughs> Hi, Ava. Welcome. You're just in time to see Elsa Edmund. Oh my god, this is hilarious. Huh. Huh. In that case, maybe I should stay a little further away from you too, Master. The echo included my essence as well. Oh, The kingdom of isolation. And it looks like I'm the king. The winds. What? How did it go again? Da 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 da. Raging storm inside. Da da da. Couldn't keep it in. <laughs> you too. Oh. Oh. Oh, Aiden. Don't worry so much. I may not be feeling any better after all this mountain climbing, but I'm definitely not feeling any worse. So, come here, and stick close to Quincy with me. We'll be totally screwed if we lose him. Ah, Aiden, you truly are a good boy. Aiden grabs Edmund and Garu's arms and pulls them close as Quincy guides them deeper and deeper into the mountains. Let him do? Oh. <laughs> Etty. Abel Etty. <laughs> Quincy, it's okay if you walk faster. I'll be fine. We're already here. In the middle- In the middle of this snowstorm? Oh gosh. But I don't see the light you mentioned. Do anything he wants to do, do him. Of course. 
in this pelting snow? That's another kink. I believe somewhere, somewhere, someone out there <laughs> is willing to do it. Huh? Voicing his doubt, Aiden sees the faint flickering streak of light in the sky not far away. That's the light curtains created by the elemental spirits. It's a million times brighter than the lights at the foot of the mountain. Is it being dimmed by the barrier that you set up? Hmm. Yes, but it's impossible to completely block out the light due to the sheer number of them. Perfect! Mm -hmm. Perfect, he, he's just a little baby. He's just our little wife, you know? He got us tucked tuck in bed with some blankets and some snoo snoo. It will be all be fine after a little snoo snoo. <laughs> yes. Yes, Abel. Yes. At that moment, the group hear the song of the elemental spirits coming from the valley. Do you hear that? It's the melody. I hear it. Is that the voice of the elemental spirits? Could Karu have been taken by them? Judging from the way they act, they seem to have a richer consciousness than the ordinary elemental spirits. The most unusual thing is the melody. It sounds... almost artificial. Artificial? So they learned it! So they learned it! So... Karu? <laughs> Uh, also, even though this place is surrounded by mountains, the song has no echo. Is it even a true sound? I don't think so. It's just that the way they use essence to convey information is similar to sound. Did you hear something? I... It's the song. The complete melody. It's Karu! Oh! Karu! Karu is a little firefly now! We gotta get our little... <laughs> our little puppy back! Ooh, ooh. Oh, thank goodness. The text is back to normal. The song of the elemental spirits seem to come from another time and space, interacting with nothing as it goes on and on. Oh god, here we go again. <laughs> I spoke too soon. We've been following the song for a while now, but the light is still so faint. No, wait. Everything is starting to look fuzzy. What's going on? Guys, can we stop for a second? Something feels off. You're already separated. You're already- I knew it! I knew it! Guys? Aside from the whistling of the of the wind, and the distant song of the elemental spirits, Aiden hears no sound. Peering through the swirling snowflakes, he sees that the three people that he was walking shoulder to shoulder with, has, have disappeared without a trace. What the? They were right here, within arm's reach. Quincy, Garu, Edmund, where are you? If you hear me, say something! Edmund! Garu! Kun! As a Aiden's vision blurs, a hand reaches out from behind him, the large palm covering his mouth and nose and preventing him from calling out. Who the hell? <gasps> oh, Quincy! Shh! Don't yell. Mm -hmm. The terrain here is special. The echoes are unusually strong, so it doesn't take much to start an avalanche. Aiden nods his head, and Quincy releases him from his tight grasp. How did Quincy get away from all of this? Dang. <gasps> Quincy, I could swear you disappeared just now. Where are Edmund and Garu? 
they're nearby. Can you find them? And where did this fog come from all of a sudden? You walked into it. What? The fog is the barrier I put up. The real problem is what is underneath the fog. And he's really big. It, like one titty equals Aiden's head. He's big. <laughs> he has the Korean manhua dick effect, you know? He's, his dick is up to his belly button. That is big. <laughs> he is big, okay? <laughs> Without another word, Quincy surveys the area and raises his right hand. A brilliant yellow light bursts from his gemstone, made the all the more dazzling by the snow. What? It's true! It's true! Isn't it? Every single BL manhwa I have, like, like Korean manhwa I've ever read, okay? The top has to have muscle and big dick. His dick, very long. <laughs> How can people recover from that? I truly wonder. All the bottoms in Korean manhwas, mm -hmm. they are the twinkiest little... <laughs> They're the twinkiest people I've ever met, and they surprisingly can... Shoop! Everything goes in, you know? <laughs> like... <laughs> Aiden is the chef with the sauce. <laughs> he is. He really is. He has training. <laughs> As they say, Aiden's ass is no longer a chrysanthemum. His ass is now a sunflower. Mm-mm. <laughs> With a wave in of his hand, Quincy releases his essence, dissipating the fog in an instant and revealing the true nature of the surrounding. That is very pretty. Aurora! Hi, Jazz. Hi, Jasmine. Hello, hello. Welcome. You're just in time to have to see the Aurora. And then we're just talking about penis size in the chat. Yes. Korean manga is all in the supernatural genre. <laughs> because of the dick size? Yeah, it's kind of... It, it's insane. It's big. But, you know, more the more the merrier, right? The bigger, the better. <laughs> What? Oh, that's beautiful. Is this an aurora? A great curtain of light spreads across the night sky, covering the entire mountaintop and flickering in ever-changing colors. The dazzling light illuminates every crevice of the rugged valley, the bottomless darkness contrasting sharply with the bright splendor of the sky. Aurora. It looks like a bit of a natural phenomenon back in my world. But I'm guessing the underlying principles are totally different. Auroras don't usually have this many colors. Oh, I just realized the Aurora is actually animated. That is so pretty. Yo, the Aurora is actually animated. Ooh. Very shiny, very pretty. Ordinary people might not be able to see the elemental spirits. But, with, but someone with an abundance of essence would definitely be drawn to a sight like this. <laughs> uh, Aurora Borealis at this time of the year, at this time of the day, at the, in this part of the country are localized entirely within your kitchen. <laughs> Hog. No wonder you work so hard to keep this place hidden. I don't think that's the point, Aiden. Master, thank goodness. I thought you got lost. Are you two okay? Just now. You're fine. Quincy lifted the barrier, so I think we're looking at the home of the elemental spirits, right? Right. Remember, whatever you do, do not respond to their song. Oh no, too fucking late. Is Garu gonna say? Oh no. Karu. I can feel Karu. He's here. Sensing a pe missing piece of himself, Garu instinctively lifts his head to search the essence-rich curtain of light. 
in inside the elemental spirits. Oh, he got eaten? Oh, no. Karu, he's in there. I can feel him. Shaking uncontrollably, Garu suddenly becomes aware of an overwhelming desire to fill the void within himself. Guys, shut the fuck up. No, not void. <laughs> oh my god, no. No. <laughs> oh, you two are nasty. The first thing you say, <laughs> both meat is tasty. Mm -hmm. Understandable. That's why Aiden keeps eating it. Car <laughs> oh, poor baby. Don't cry. Garu, try to stay calm. But Karu is there! I... I have to get him back! Oh, this is so cute! Oh, He doesn't look too good. He seems a little unstable. Yeah, I mean, like, his gemstone broke into several pieces, so I'm like, hmm... Is it because his psyche... His psyche is incomplete without Karu? So it is the ID. Oh no. Don't worry. We'll think up a plan together. Aiden tries to comfort the both yokai, but Garu seems not to hear. Instead, he takes a step towards the valley and raises his hand to the sky. Karu. Ah. Stop! What are you doing? I have to let Karu feel my presence. I'm releasing my essence so you can find- No, bitch, that's not- That's exactly what Karu- Ah! That's what Quincy just said not to do! Oh no, here we go. Don't. Have you forgotten what happened at the rehearsal? That was because we gave our essence to the elemental spirits. If the same thing happens here, the effect will be even worse. Don't be reckless. But what should I do? I can't leave Karu here all by himself. Don't worry. There's no way we're leaving him here. Don't be afraid, Garu. We'll think of a better way. Too fucking late. Avalanche! Oh no. The group feels a faint tremor beneath their feet. Gradually, gro growing in intensi intensity. Nearby drifts of snow crumble, filling the air with a sense of foreboding. Avalanche! Find cover! Oh, here we go. Ah. Uh. Damn, it they really had to end it there. Damn. Okay. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Avalanche chapter ends. Oh man. Oh gosh. Oh Karu. No, oh, Karu. Oh sweetie. Here we go. Chapter 11, guys, and there's no there's no time to waste. In an instant, a massive amount of snow comes crashing down, surging into the valley with great force and pushing the four men into the edge of the precipice. Aiden! Oh, I love it. I love you, Edmund. Say that again. Edmund's night instincts cause him to react first, grabbing hold of the Grand Sorcerer. Stay back! Quincy stops the wolf yokai in his tracks while quickly scanning the surroundings for shelter. But all he sees are rolling waves of snow. Oh fuck, this is massive! Oh dear. You have no idea what's going on? It's okay, bo. Take your time to read. Yeah, this is the second part. You have a lot to read. <laughs> it's a three, three, three week event too. It's gonna be long. Cover your no your mouth and nose. Protect yourself with essence. Essence. Uh, uh, can't breathe. That's right. His essence hasn't recovered yet. Holding on tightly to Aiden, Edmund is pushed to the edge by the huge mass of snow. As he was about to fall, He's left with only one thought. <gasps> oh! 
I must protect him. Uh... <laughs> protect your man, oh <laughs> Yeah, it really is. Oh my god. Edmund, you. Yeah, wait, wait. Doesn't Edmund like never ever use us as essence ever? Ugh. Oh shit. Like, yes, he uses essence to like maybe power up and like has better stamina and better muscles, I guess. But like, but like, he's actually making a barrier? Fuck, that's Pog. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on to me. Oh my god. Casting aside his fear and doubt about the unknown power, the knight's conviction takes concrete form through magic. Oh shit. In an instant, a solid shield of essence appears, supporting the two men as they fall. Wow. Edmund really is amazing. Oh my god. Lifting his head to look at his companion, Aiden's line of sight is blocked by the relentless flow of snow. The only thing he can see is the dazzling radiance in the sky above the valley. Weird. That feeling is back. What? What are you trying to tell me? Oh, is Kara speaking to us? The scene before Aiden's eyes changes abruptly. A group of silhouettes appears at the top of the valley. Singing as they stand in a line along the cliff's edge. Oh, that's creepy! An illusion? Are the elemental spirits showing me this? But why? Within the illusion, the man is in front, singing at the top of his voice, stretching out his hand as if to give the power inside him to nature. His face lights up with a satisfied smile. Is this a hint? Should I trust you? Alright, just one last time. Aiden reaches out towards the light in the sky, giving what little essence he has left to the elemental spirits that surround them on all sides. Aiden? Don't let me down! There? Wow, okay, damn. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello? Who's writing this? <laughs> Who's cutting out this story like that? Oh my gosh, dang. Cliff out. <laughs> oh gosh, okay. Damn. We have another two, three chapters left. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, so. He's singing. Now he's singing. Hopefully, uh, we'll get saved. What's going on? Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, basically, it's reverse pro. I don't know. It's reverse frozen. Mm. No, it's like summer. I no, the, the summer dream, but frozen. <laughs> My head is killing me. Are those voices? Sounds like a lot of voices. What? Yakumo, how the hell? How are you here? And you're not a frozen snake? Oh gosh. Yakumo, and the smell of tasty vegetable soup. Oh, this is, this is a lie. I don't believe this. I don't believe Yakumo can be here. Is Aiden dead? Where? <laughs> you were caught in an avalanche and fell off a cliff. Ah, vegetable soup. Am I dreaming? Is this heaven? He is. Isn't he cold blood? <laughs> Hunter, I believe snakes will still <laughs> not function very well in the cold. <laughs> and Yakumo is also on. Well, I- uh, no, no, no. Yakuma ain't dead. Aiden's dead, probably. 
He fell off a cliff. Mr. Raiden, don't say such things. Such strange things. You're alive and well. Okay, he's alive then. Then what is this? Then how come you're here, Yakumo? Huh? Eh? All of them too? Is everyone here? You're finally awake. Can you feel any pain? Yo, this is an illusion. No, no, I, he's dead. He's definitely dead. <laughs> I feel he's dead. He is so dead. Holy shit. Not really. Not really! How do you not feel any pain from falling off a cliff? Um, uh, what about Quincy, Garu, and Edmund? We're all fine. Garu wasn't hurt either. He was just a bit shaken. I gave him some hot soup and then put him into bed. Blade is watching over him. You came all the way out here? What about your essence? Oh, okay, so they are real. They are real, they are alive, and they got they just got swept down. Okay, that that explains everything. Okay, they're they're all alive. Okay, never mind. Um Yes, once night fell, a sudden surge of power entered our bodies and regulated our essence. Oh, <laughs> Lamal Raider. <laughs> yeah, put on a coat. Shit. Hmm. After everyone recovered, some Lord Dante thought you might need some help, so we all rushed over. Thankfully, we had Mr. Kuya to lead the way. He showed us how to follow the light of the elemental spirits. It's okay, Abel. No one's dead, fortunately. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I merely came to enjoy the show, but I must admit, I didn't expect it to be this amusing. No winter coat. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Father doesn't have a winter coat. I mean, he's already... Down! Down, Hunter! Shh, 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 shh. Your boy will come back soon, okay? Let, let Kuya enjoyers have their turn. <laughs> <laughs> when we arrived, we saw you half buried in the snow. Turns out my intuition was right. Oh, so they were half dead. My intuition was right on the mark. <sighs> Hold on. Information overload. Your essence is back to normal? Oh, oh wait. My essence is back to normal too. Are you sure? You're okay? I feel great right now, but we fell off such a steep cliff. How come don't, I don't have any injuries? Ah, that's right. Because of Edmund. Yes, that's right! Because of Edmund! <laughs> the man in question stands at a distance from Aiden. Oh, come on, Edmund! Stop being an Elsa! Stop being... Oh my god, he's standing aside because he still feels so... <laughs> oh shit! Oh, rest in peace, Abel. Goodbye, Abel. No, Edmund, stop it! Stop guilt, guilt tripping your head! Oh my god, stop blaming yourself! Stop! I hurt everyone by recklessly releasing my essence, but it's also because I used my essence that he's here safe and sound. Edmund, are you alright? Thanks for keeping me safe. No, no need to thank me. What's up? Standing over here all by yourself? Something on your mind? It's nothing. Ah, I've been meaning to ask. Why did you suddenly release your essence when you fell off the cliff? Oh, uh, about that. As we fell, I saw something. Quincy, about what I saw. I don't know if it's connected to what happened, but what do you think? I have a hypothesis. Not only did we return to normal at the exact time you gave your essence to the elemental spirits, but 
it also felt extremely similar to essence regulation. So everyone f nutted at the same time. Oh wow, Pog. <laughs> oh shit, that is the biggest Christmas gift that... <laughs> the biggest Christmas gift that Aiden can ever give. Oh my god. Ah, uh, that's right. It's just as Mr. Ray says. But if all I did was give my essence to the elemental spirits like you guys did, why was the outcome different? Shit. You didn't know what was going on going to happen and yet you acted so rashly. Oh come on, Dante, I know you're worried, but please. But please, what else are we supposed to do? Maybe the outcome wasn't different. Aside from the fact that you are the grand sorcerer. When Garo and Edmund gave the essence to the elemental spirits, a large amount of essence rebounded as an echo. If we assume this is a fixed mechanism, then the Grand Sorcerer's essence also rebounded. However, because of the connection to the gemstones, the essence was rebounded, then flow out. It flowed back into us, regulating our essence. Okay, this is this is this is a lot of uh, explaining. Holy shit! So basically, damn. Okay, so basically, everyone was a filter. They 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 absorbed everything. Mm. <laughs> the group. Yes, yes, it really was. Yet more wishful thinking and bold assumptions. However, this time it sounds rather reasonable. If Ray's theory is correct, it means the echo mecha mechanism is a natural phenomenon, and the elemental spirit's reaction to the song might not be malicious in nature. Not malicious. Whatever the case, I think we can all breathe a sigh of relief. So doesn't that mean Karu will come back? Now that everyone's recovered, our job is to get Karu back. As if in response to being called, the wolf yokai awakens from his sleep, his bright eyes filled with worry and guilt. Karu? Oh, he's still not here. Karu. Oh. Silly boy. Oh my god. Dang. That was a lot. Guys, that was a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> oh man. Oh, next chapter, here we go! Uh. Darling, what should I do? I talked to Garu Garu a lot and even gave him a little Yakumo soup. But he keeps curling himself up into a little ball and he looks so sad. Aww. Yo, everyone's so sad right now. Edmund's like staying away from everybody. Garu is just isolating himself because... Oh man. And Quincy is just like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> I'm like... Garu, are you alright? Aiden approaches the curled up figure. His, fi his ears and tail dripping. The wolf yokai's usual zest for life is nowhere to be seen. Master. Master. I'm... I'm so scared that Karu is not coming back. Don't worry. You'll definitely get him back. But... He always used to say he didn't want to share this body with me. Are you sure he didn't... He didn't just decide to leave? That he doesn't want to come back? No chance. Karu is always standing up for you, right? There's no... No one more important than him. He's... he's super important to me too. I really don't know what to do without him. <laughs> oh, Oh, poor baby. Oh, His mood has been deteriorating ever since Karu disappeared. I'm not sure how much more of this can, that he can take. Nade, nade. Try not to think too much. Karu never mentioned wanting to leave, did he? He'll get mad if you already made up his mind for him, right? The most important thing right now is to get him back. Yeah. But 
how exactly do we do that? Is Kaoru still safe and sound? The more I think about it, the more I worry. As Aiden broods, he feels a hand tap him on the shoulder. Quincy? Come with me. I have something to show you. Wow, the valley floor is way wider than I thought. I never knew we could come so deep. <laughs> who the fuck is who is translating these things? I swear to God, who the they are doing this with full on malice. I I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the Chinese and the Korean and the Japanese versions don't have this. I... <laughs> Who the hell? <laughs> it's just up ahead. You move dirty... Excuse me? Oh, 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 Rattle cards? Actually a pink core spy? I see, I see why you will feel a, a, a bit defensive. You get you getting defensive there with the cards? Gotcha. I found the spy, y'all. Aiden follows Quincy's gaze to, to see something rather unexpected. Wait, no. <laughs> oh dear. I mean they're not raw what? What what no, shut 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 no no uh, I, I I'm not reading in chat. Mm -hmm. No. Hmm. <laughs> Aiden follows Quincy's gaze to see something rather unexpected. Oh no, don't cry. Not it, not it, not it, not it. Okay. I hope you're fine now. You went to jail. <laughs> it's our little secret. Hidden beneath the layers of ice and snow are traces of the hand-hewn hollows with textiles and tools scattered nearby. Is it a contest? No, no, no. I mean, <laughs> I, I accuse the Retro Cards being a pink horse spy just because of, <laughs> because like Retro is the only one who was like, no, uh, Ayumu is the one in the wrong. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I was like, mm -mm. <laughs> what? Why are you defensive? Huh? <laughs> nah, it's all, it's all just joking. It's all kidding. <laughs> Though crumbling and from a time long forgotten, there are evidence that people once lived here in the ice? Dang. Are these the ruins of an ancient tribe? So the scene I saw was real. A tribe used to live here and they sang to the elemental spirits. Not just that. Look at this. The totem! Oh. Damn! We're hitting the last chapter already for this week. That was kind of fast. But, wow. <laughs> I feel... <laughs> okay, are you guys ready? The final chapter of this year. Because I'm not able to cover the remainder. Um, Because I will be gone very soon. I will be flying off for my holiday this weekend. So I'll see you like literally next year. If if I can, I'll try to stream something before the year ends or maybe a countdown. I don't know. I'll I'll think about it. If you see no notifications in my Discord, well, that's it. I'm dead. I'm asleep. Good night, y'all. <laughs> All right, let's go. Chapter 14. Let's go. Oh. Hold on. Does this mean your ancestors lived here? With this totem here, there must be a connection to my old tribe. But I know not no legends or records passed down about this valley. Yet yeah, a ceremony involving this totem has somewhat somehow been preserved. Ah. 
could what I have saw have been a ceremony held by the tribes people who once lived here. They were all gathered together, singing and praying to the sky. That could be it. The elemental spirits deliberately showed you a scene involving an ancient tribe. Maybe this is where it all started. Doesn't that mean you were right? The winter ceremony really was for making offerings for, to the singing elemental spirits? No way, maybe it's the other way around. The tribe sang to pray for their blessings, and the elemental spirits repeated their song with the echo mechanism. The complete melody sounds more like something created by humans than by elemental spirits. And thinking back to the contents of the manuscript, maybe the song of the elemental spirits sang in response is what came to be known as nature's blessing? Ordinary folk can't hear their song, but even the average person has a little essence, right? Maybe they felt the faint response or resonance and took it as a blessing. I agree that the song was likely first written by the tribe, but as for a blessing, I've never thought about it that way. After all, these incidents that keep happening hardly seems like blessings. That's true. Well, they almost died. Avalanche. How many times? I think five times at this point. I don't know, man. Everyone was about to die. Everyone nothing at the same time. That was a blessing. Everyone just... <laughs> ah. Keep happening? Quincy, have you ever seen anything like what happened at the rehearsal happen before? A long time ago, I took part in a tribe's winter ceremony. I was curious about its origins and its and the mysterious totem. Every year around the time of the ceremony, there would be a disturbance in the valley's essence. When I noticed this, I went into the mountains. That's when I saw the curtain of light and heard the song of the elemental spirits. Ooh. Oh my god, Young Quincy! Oh my god! Oh my god, he doesn't have eye bags. Oh my gosh. Such a beautiful sight hidden deep in the mountains. Voices singing? The voices on the elemental spirits. Quote, he doesn't need no coat, his muscle, pure energy. He's rest. <laughs> Feels like they're calling out, searching for something, for a response. You need a coat? Oh, Abel's cold. Rest well. Be in the blankie. It's weird to hear. Yeah, right? No, someone actually made a comparison where they compare young Quincy and the current Quincy when they say, uh, um, um. Apparently, young Quincy says, Says it like, mm. and then the older Quincy says, mm. "I'm like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> the Lord." <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god, I oh Oh my god Quincy just sang holy shit He hummed Faced with the amazing sight and enchanting song, a young hunter instinctively opens his mouth to response, mimicking the melody. However, What's happening? Such a powerful echo. And vibrations of essence. Not good. Uh, 
I I'm sorry. I'm gonna replay that. Can we replay the sound? No, we can't. No, we can't replay the sound. What happened after that? I returned to the tribe and discovered the outskirts of the village had been severely damaged. The crops had wilted. The livestock was dead. Many of my fellow tribespeople lay on the ground unconscious. So that's what happened. No wonder you tried to seal off the valley. Quincy, forgive me. It's all because I... It's all in the past, little devil. Eh? I have watched over this valley for a long time since then. Even though I've always tried to avoid disasters, I never thought about what caused them. Now I finally have a chance to get closer to the truth. If we can learn what happened here in the past, maybe we can find a solution once and for all. Hunter speaks with a relieved smile. His steady voice alleviating Aiden's sense of unease. D, 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 D. Ah, but the people I, I saw looked happy. They definitely didn't look like they suffered a disaster. Maybe the ancient tribes people had some way of avoiding disasters? From what I've seen, the elemental spirit's behavior has never changed. It's your essence that has made the difference. If the ancient tribes people didn't suffer disasters when they sang, then the problem must lie with us. You, Garu Edmund? Is it because you're all clan members? Essence is the key. As you said, maybe those in the past felt a faint response, but it wasn't until our essence made contact that the echo mechanism was triggered. And it's because of our essence that we can hear their songs and response. You're singing again! As if supporting their theory, the elemental spirits regale the two companions with their familiar melody. Though faint, the song spreads through the valley, va the vast valley floor, lacking substance. However, it struggles to sustain itself and slowly fades into emptiness. We are in the valley, yet there is no echo. But if we weren't here, there would be no one to hear the song, right? Right. Who knows how long they have been singing here, with no one to hear their song and no response. Wow, that's it. We're stopping here. Oh my god. So they are singing. Alright. Yeah, is yeah, Edwin is still is, he's being a little emo. He's a bit very sad. He's quite sad right now. We're gonna give him some time. Garu is definitely sad. Uh damn. Oh man. I can't wait for next week. We're actually gonna get the MV next week. We're gonna get the song next week. We're gonna get their singing next week. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, if you... I, I don't know, you probably can hear me on my holiday trip screaming from a different country. I hope you can... <laughs> if you felt a little tremor that day, it's not Earthquake, it's just me. Screaming into the void. I'm <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, look, listen, listen to the song. It's so. It's so emotional. Oh my god. I. Well, I guess that marks the end of this year's stream. So, I'll see you guys next year. And thank you so much for dropping by. And, yeah. 
See you guys again soon. Don't do that on the airplane, please. <laughs> There's no Wi-Fi on the airplane. I can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what we'll say. This is our last Ayumu Sumi of the year. One, two, three. Ayumu Sumi! Good night, everybody! Happy Holidays! Merry Christmas! Happy New Year! Bye bye! Good night! Ah, oh, dear. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I love you. Bye-bye.